What's up, everybody? It's Harvey Slater, Holistic Nutrition Coach. Um, I'm gonna show you today how to make a super easy frittata, which is an egg dish that you can make ahead and then you can store it, and it's an awesome way to have a healthy, nutrient-dense breakfast throughout the week. And I'm just gonna show you how simple it is. So what we're doing is we're starting out here with a really hot pan, and one way to know if the pan's hot enough is that you just wanna put some water on your fingers and Splash the water in there, and if the water does a dance, meaning if it kind of rolls around on the pan like little beads, then you know it's hot enough. So we're gonna go ahead and put about a tablespoon of virgin coconut oil in here, and we're gonna let that melt. You can use any kind of oil that's good for cooking as long as it doesn't have trans fat in it. Um, I just prefer virgin coconut oil, that's my favorite. It has a really high heat tolerance. And you, also, you want to use a pan that is oven proof that you can throw in the oven so you don't want any rubber handles or plastic on your pan or anything like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, two cloves of garlic in there and I'm going to let that just brown a tiny bit and you can see the pan's nice and hot and that's exactly what we want. Then I'm going to put this one zucchini that's sliced up. And also, this is about a half a bunch of asparagus that I've cut into tip, cut the tips off and use the parts of the asparagus that are edible. And then I'm just gonna mix that around so the garlic doesn't um, burn too much. And then this is one half a red bell pepper that is chopped up and it comes to just under a cup. And we're going to let this saute and let the vegetables cook a little bit. So you can stir it with a spatula. I'm using a rubber spatula. That's the best kind of spatula to use when you're making an egg dish. And I like to do my little chef flip, pan flipping thing because it makes it even, but that takes a little practice, haha. <laughs> you can see the zucchini starting to brown a little bit. So you're just gonna let this saute for maybe I don't know, three to five minutes, and then we'll move to the next step. All right, these vegetables have been sauteing for about five minutes. I'm now gonna add about one cup of cooked white beans. You can use white beans, cannellini beans, garbanzo beans, and that might sound a little weird, but actually the cooked beans are an awesome resistant starch for your morning. I don't know if you ever followed Dr. Alan Christensen. He wrote The Adrenal Reset Diet. And um, he makes a really great compelling case for supporting your body's natural circadian rhythms by cycling your macronutrients. So you want your breakfast to be protein, fat, and resistant starch focused. And the beans add great resistant starch to your morning and while also providing some fiber and extra protein. So that's kind of a little fat burning secret for you for your, for your adrenal glands and your circadian rhythms. So we're gonna let this um, heat up a little bit more with those beans in there. And then we're gonna get it ready for the egg stage and popping it in the oven. All right, so we've gone another maybe four-ish minutes, five minutes, and we're gonna add our scrambled eggs. This is six uh, organic, certified organic omega-3 eggs, as fresh as possible. And you want your chickens who have been eating really good um, omega-3 foods so they can pass those awesome fatty acids onto you. And of course, it's always better to get organic. So we're just gonna pour that in there. And what we're, what's gonna happen with this frittata is because the vegetables are hot and cooking and the pan is really hot, it's gonna create a little bit of a souffle effect. So we're not scrambling it like we would with scrambled eggs or an omelet. We're just going to evenly distribute everything like that. And then we're going to add about one half bunch or two cups of, this is julienne um, Tuscan kale. You can use spinach if you want, arugula, any kind of healthy, nutrient-dense green vegetable, Swiss chard, and we're gonna mix that in a little bit. And we're gonna make sure the eggs are kind of flooding around all the vegetables. And if it seems like not a lot of eggs and a lot of vegetables, don't worry, that's actually a good thing because that's giving you a better distribution of all of the nutrients that your body's gonna need for the day. So you're getting the, some benefits from the eggs, some of the protein and stuff, but you're not primarily eating eggs. You're actually eating a really nutrient dense, vegetable rich dish. So um, this pretty much does the trick. Now that kale is going to wilt down a little bit 
as it gets hotter. And the reason I didn't put it in earlier is because I didn't want, I wanted to kind of keep it hardy and keep some of those natural living enzymes in the kale. So that's about right. Now what you want to do also is you can just give it a little jiggle like that and that'll help distribute the eggs around everything a little more. And you do want to see some of the eggs creeping up around the sides a little bit. And then um, I'm going to do a little sprinkle of a couple tweaks of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. And this is about one sprig of fresh rosemary, which has awesome antioxidant benefits. And then for a little more fun green and chlorophyll, I've got a quarter cup of parsley. And we're gonna let that all mix in a little bit. And then before the eggs get too scrambled, while they're still raw, you pop the whole thing in the oven. And I've got the oven at 450 degrees, so a super, super hot oven. Give it one more little shake like that, and in the oven it goes. All right, so it's actually been about 12 or 13 minutes, but our frittata is beautiful. The way you can tell if it's done is that you won't see any wet eggs in there at all. If you poke it with your finger, it's nice and firm. And um, what happened was the hot oven baked the eggs around the vegetables. So it's kind of like a pie in a way, if you've never had a frittata before. And this makes it very easy to cool off and the sections and then have for breakfast for your busy week. You can also have it for lunch or even dinner. Um, so it's really got a lot of great benefits. This is only six eggs and this is about four portions. I used a nine inch pan. You can use a bigger pan. You can use more eggs if you want, but really you're only getting about one and a half eggs. So you're getting some of the egg benefits that you want from the eggs, but eggs have not hijack the entire nutritional profile of this dish. There's lots of really hearty vegetables and you want all those vegetables in there. So the eggs are basically just going to be holding the vegetables together. So we're going to show you a great suggestion on how to serve this. And here you have an awesome presentation. This is uh, a piece of the frittata cut up. It's a quarter of the pan and then I just served it with some fresh nutrient dense berries and oranges. And this is one way to serve it. You can also just have it by itself. It's really great to eat on the go, really easy to eat on the run. So enjoy, this just proves that healthy does not have to be hard. I just showed you how to make a nutritious, nutrient dense meal that'll cover you for about four meals for the week. All right, so uh, go out there and give this a try. Let me know how you like it. Later days, bye for now.